The goal this summer is to fly in the stratosphere with about 150 pounds of total payload. Compared to our competitors, that's an order of magnitude more payload swap than what anybody else has shown capability to carry overnight in the stratosphere. Latest takeoff time to complete the mission is about 6.30 a.m. Any open issues? Okay, let's do a go, no, go by a show of thumbs. Okay, looks good. Let's try to be in the seats in the GCS by uh, 11.30. Uh, and then we'll start power up. Let's do this. Yep. It's a prototype. Other aircraft are already set and proven and signed off on, whereas this one, we're doing the proving to get the signing off on. It's a lot of information. So we're learning as we go, testing as we go. It kind of kicks up your adrenaline and an extra notch. One, two, three, back. For a solar airplane, we do a lot of taking off and landing at night. This airplane, it's designed for and likes to be up in the air at high altitude, but it really likes flying. There wasn't a lot that was unexpected. I mean, obviously there's a few little things that come up that the team had to handle, but nothing that we couldn't overcome and nothing that was too far out of the ordinary for flight test. AV is a good culture. The folks that had been with the program for a long time and had participated in Helios and other previous HAPS programs obviously brought a lot of knowledge to the table. The depth of the flight crew and how involved the entire crew is at the highest professional and expert level. Really what it boils down to is just relying on the team that you have around you. And these people are foremost experts in the world at what they're doing. And really, by the time we got to the day of the test, it was just about execution. And the team just nailed it like clockwork. 